All right, guys, as promised, uh, back to the Greenberg content. Um, wanted to show this card first before I get into the topic of the video. This is a new card just in today, 1938, Gaudi heads up. Uh, this is my third version of the 253. Um, as most may know, um, <clears throat> 38 Gaudi was a continuation of 33 Gaudi. And the numbers of the uh, set pick up right after 33 Gaudi ends, so they begin like in the 250s or 240s, I think 240s. Um, so Greenberg has two cards in the set, one without cartoons, which is this one, and the high number, which is considered the high number, I guess, the second series, has the cartoons. Um, so really, really nice example of this card. Uh, this is the only one I actually have that is a little diamond cut. This one's also really not that bad. Um, so really happy to get this in. Um, always, always looking to add uh, nice examples of the 38 Gaudi. So happy to have that. But the reason uh, making this video today is to show off um, my various 1934 batter up Greenbergs. Um, this was a set made between 34 and 36, and I'll sort of get into um, different variations that he has and different versions. Um, talk a little, a little bit about the card itself. So this is the only. Uh, PSA graded card that I have. This is a five. I don't know if I've shown this off recently or not, but um, this is definitely my highest graded card. Uh, my highest graded batter up in my collection. Um, Greenberg has four different um, color variations of this card. So uh, how it's laid out here, there are actually no first names on this. And uh, as you can see, number 57 is the card number here. Um, and if you can see closely, there's a stencil that kind of outlines him. And this was made for kids and collectors to punch out the player and fold him up. Um, so he stands up maybe like on a desk like this and um, kind of has like the silhouette punched around him. So because of this, and these are not found in good condition at all because even if you try to punch it once and put it back, uh, you will have, have punched it through. And so... Um, the area like right above the stencil is very very close to the top of the card so unpunched examples will have um, a nice here if I can see it uh, it's gonna be like sorry it's up there maybe I lost my focus it's okay um, but a really nice example of the here we go, got it back. Nice example of the 34 batter up. Uh, so that's our magenta. This is our brown, this is what's considered brown tone. I think I like this one the best. I think it kind of depicts uh, the era nicest. This one I bought at the National in 2019 and it has like some residue spots in the back, but um, nicely conditioned card. Um, Next is another two and a half. This is what's considered black and white. And online, there, if the images are not uh, good online, very hard to distinguish between these two. So, for for a while before I kind of got the nuances about how these are, um, it was hard to distinguish between between these two. Um, that's a nice. Two and a half there. Blanks are uh, backs, blanks. Backs are all blank in this issue, and I think it's actually a really cool set. Um, the high numbers in this set are shaped differently, um, and they also are laid out differently. Uh, this is a two in the brown, um, and uh, some good names in the set too. I know Fox is in here, and Greenberg, of course. There's a few of the, like a Hall of Fame pictures. This is a pretty rough one. This was the first blue that I got um, in my collection. I think I bought this card raw for like 50 bucks. Um, but as you can see, that top has been punched out there and uh, a lot of creasing, you know, near the bat to the to the border. And um, that's generally how, how these were. This was definitely one that was used and then kind of put back together. Uh, this is a better condition too. Sorry, a better conditioned blue. Um, 
generally how they look. I like the blues a lot. I would say I probably like the uh, magentas the least out of all the colors. This was the one I bought at Shriners for fifteen dollars. Um, it has some writing on the back, but uh, can't go wrong with the fifteen dollar Hank Greenberg vintage card. Um, and then the last um, is a magenta. I only have one black uh, and several of each other color. Um, this one's pretty nice. I like that card. Um, I also took the time to uh, sort through, if I can just like kind of take this all. So I took the time to kind of like sort through, because I've got a lot of time in my hands. So it goes uh, chronological by um, by year, and then alphabetical by brand. So sort of took the time to do this. It's really fun, actually. I recommend people doing some sorting now that we have time on our hands. Um, so as I go, I'm probably just gonna like fill in here. You know, these are my PSA stuff and stuff that just like won't fit with SGC, but. Uh, it's kind of like what I use now. It's like a graded card slab box, which is really nice. Um, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Um, and uh, we'll try and do another video sometime, maybe later on this week or, or next week.